Right, today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, basic setup when you're using uh, Sweetlight DMX software. So Sweetlight is a DMX software which can control all DMX fixtures. So that's from lighting to fog machines to LED park ends. They do three different units. I've got two of them here today. This unit can control, um, control up to 512 DMX channels with uh, unlimited fixtures, so as many fixtures as you can use on 512 channels. This is a, the Sweet Light dongle, and this can control up to 100 DMX channels and up to 10 fixtures. So, the first thing, I mean, Sweet Light, you can download the software free, it's free to download. But you won't be able to use it without the dongle or the box. Um, there's a link at the bottom of this screen where you can download the software. So today we're going to show you how to do the basic setup using a JB system Sirius light. Uh, the Sirius is a 60 watt LED moving head, so it's really bright. You don't need to change bulbs in it. And I'm going to set it up using uh, the sweet light dongle. So the first thing is you download the software. Once you've done that you can uh, plug your dongle in to your computer and then plug a DMX cable or the dongle straight into the input on your light. Um, on the uh, JB, JB System Series Light, there's some different settings that we need to adjust on the screen. Uh, a lot of these effects lights now have different DMX modes. We're going to use this in the 11 channel mode. And we also need to set up an address on there as well. So to set up an address, we're going to set this to DMX address 1 need to press the menu button and enter and if if it's a higher number than one you can just use the up and down buttons to adjust it but we just we just want that on DMX address one today so set it to one and then press enter and then we can also go through this built-in memory this time we're going to adjust the how many DMX channels of control you're going to use so we're going to use this on 11 channel so go to go to that menu, press enter, and change it to 11, and press enter. Also on this light you can do a split colour, which again you need to set in the menu. So we go to that, press enter, and go to yes, and press enter. And to go back to the start of the menu, just hold down the menu button for a couple of seconds. And it goes back. At the moment it's not picking up a DMX signal. So once you've done that, you can open up your uh, Sweet Light software. Okay, so if your Sweet Light software has found your dongle or your, st or your stick, it will come up one universe found and it's found the cable. Okay. So what we need to do first is build our fixture up in, into the sweet lights fixtures. So you can do that by clicking on the fixture button. Just go yes on that. So this is our fixture screen, this is where we can build our fixtures up. So we're going to need to create a new fixture. So to do this you're going to need the, the light manual that you're using. So a lot of these units have a lot of DMX channels. So on the JB System Cirrus, we've got 11 channels. So if you go to File, New, and you can type the name of, of the fixture. Or you can type anything you want in there really. This is a JB system series. Okay. 
that's there. You go down here, you can add uh, how many channels of uh, control it needs. So, so this is on this, this uses 11, so you can go straight in and put 11 in there. Oh, one too many. If you put one too many, you can just cut it and get rid of it. Uh, you can label all these so uh, Sweet Light knows what each channel does. So if you look at your manual, channel 1, this is pan. So what you can do is click on the first one, then right click and that screen comes up. Then you can press edit and it gives you lots of options that you can label your channel with. So the first channel is pan, so I select that. Okay. Right click, go on edit, this time it's tilt, OK. The second channel is actually pan fine, so we use that. OK. Third channel is tilt. Fourth channel is tilt fine fifth channels pan and tilt speed sixth channel is dimmer Seven channel is shutter. So again, highlight it, right click, edit, find shutter. Eight channel is colors. Ninth channel is gobo. Tenth channel. Let's go by rotation. Eleventh channel has different functions, so it probably isn't a set one for that. So we could put in mode for that one. Okay, so once you build up your fixture, you can go to the DMX addressing. It asks you whether you want to save your current fixture, and, and the answer to that is yes. And you can select your Cirrus. You double click it. Sweet Light, if you've got a number of fixtures, Sweet Light will automatically set it to the next DMX address available. But this is the first one we've got on there, so it, it, it's, it's putting it on DMX address 1. So it tells you here DMX address 1 and it also gives you the dip switch settings. So some lights now have digital displays, some have dip switches, but Sweet Light will, will tell you tell you both options. We've already set the Cirrus to DMX address 1, so that's all we've done. We can name it, we can just call it Cirrus and then save. Now light comes up on this side here. And then for this particular light, then we're done in the fixture screen, and now we can go to the editor screen. So that's the fixture, that's the editor screen. So we can double click on that. And if it's saved, it all, okay, everything okay, now your serious light comes up on this side with 11 channels of control. So we can test the lights working now on the software. You need the first thing you need to do is go and turn the DMX on. So if the red light's on, the DMX is, is in blackout mode. So press on the DMX and it goes green. And then we can check our light moves. Which it does. And then we can open the dimmer. Or open the shutter and, and turn up the dimmer. 
to check the colours are working. As you can see it does split colour. You can change the gobo. It does gobo shake. As well as you can uh, rotate the gobo as well. Okay, so you're, we're all working. So we're just going to do a really basic program just to show you it working and then show you how the live screen works. You go to File and New. And it asks you, each time you want to start a new program, you always should go File New. It says, Do you want to save your editor scene? And you say no on this one. Okay, so we've set. All your sliders are back down to zero. Here you can build up your uh, steps to your show. So first of all, we're going to move the light back around there. Open the shutter, turn up the dimmer. This could be our first step. Uh, you can add more steps to this button here. So if we do a, a, a little show with ten, 10 steps. So the first one will be just a white spot. And then what we do is we change the colour and the go bone. First step will be just a white spot. Second, we'll change the colour and go by. And then the third, we'll change the colour and go by again. rotation on that one. Do a spit colour on that one. And go back to a spot, a spit colour. And on the last one we'll have the colours constantly changing. And you can have the gobos slowly moving around. So at the moment the total time is quite long at the moment, so you can highlight that and adjust that time. Asked to re recalculate all the step lengths, and then you can play what you've just programmed back. Obviously, very fast at the moment. So I'm going to change that again. Stop it. Okay, so once you're happy with the uh, program we'll show you've created, you can turn turn it off and pause it, and then you can turn the DMX off. Uh, you can save the show, so 
to do that you go file save as then it says file name so you can call your show anything you want I'm just going to call this Cirrus so type in the name and then save uh, and then we're finished in the editor screen we can minimise that so now we've been in the fixture screen which is where you build your fixtures the editor screen which is where you do your programming and the live we're going to go in the live screen now which is where you play back all all the programs you've created we click on that it comes up here it says page one if we right click on this file we can uh, rename that page so again I'm just going to call it the, the name of the light and then OK if you go back up to that bar and right click again you can now add a light scene so if you click on add a light scene and it comes up there this, will, this could be a list of all your uh, different programs and shows you've created so eventually there'll be a big long list once you've made lots up I've only got one at the moment so we're going to click on that and then open and it comes up on our live screen there go down the bottom right hand side at the moment uh, the DMX is in blackout mode so we can click on that and make the little light go green and then if we press on there our show we just created stops playing so if we want to turn that off we just click on this button to turn it on and off and if we want to go into blackout we can hit that button as well so it's really as uh, simple as that to get you going obviously Sweetlight can do lots of other things but we would be here all day talking about all the different features that's really just to get you up and running <laughs>